Thanksgiving is a time of year when people sit in reflection upon wonderful memories of days gone by. It is a time of rejoicing, of celebration, of reestablishing the bonds of friendship and family. It is the pinnacle of our autumnal consciousness. But it is also a time when the specters and phantoms of the past emerge to dance as vague shadows along the stones of the amber-lit hearth, to flit as tattered shades through the dark, crisp November air. Blackwater Media presents A Haunted Thanksgiving. Have you ever heard of a place called Dudley Town? If not, indulge me for just a few minutes while I tell you a little something about it. Like much of Connecticut, settlers came to the area around what is now the quiet little town of Cornwall in the mid-18th century. And that includes the first Dudleys who came from England to the Litchfield Hills in 1747. They helped create what became a thriving community known then as Owlsbury primarily fueled through the region's growing iron industry. Homes were built, the land was farmed, iron was forged, and the town grew and prospered, and all was well, or so it seemed. Some attributed the demise of the town to multiple mundane factors. The depletion of the farmland, the decline of the area's iron industry, the natural progression of younger Americans heading west to settle new lands, etc. Of course, there are others who simply believe the Dudley clan was cursed, as an inordinate number of Dudleys supposedly came to untimely ends, and that the troubles extended to the village they helped found. Whatever the cause, mundane or monstrous, the Dudleys died off and the settlement's population continued to dwindle until about the turn of the 20th century. Finally, the last resident gave up and abandoned what was left of the town. The surrounding forest slowly swallowed up the homes and buildings, and today the only remnants of what had been are a few crumbling foundations and empty cellars. But what about this curse? The story goes that anyone who's tried to live in what had been Dudley Town has come into some terrible misfortune. Over the years there has allegedly been everything from suicides to demonic possessions and almost every kind of dark manifestation to speak of. It has become home to all sorts of alleged paranormal experiences with visitors witnessing all manner of spirit and phantom as well as having unsettled feelings of dread and fear. As you might expect, the area has also drawn the attention of those enthralled with dark forces and demonic rituals, plus a healthy number of amateur ghost hunters and teenagers simply searching for something to get into. Today, the remnants of the town sit on private property and is closed to visitors. It's just as well too. For who among you possess the courage to venture into the village of the damned? And by the way, as you gather with friends and family during this season, remember to have a haunted Thanksgiving. 